I would like to thank uh, one of my followers, Orlando Greenhill, for sending me the story. And this is going to be a feel-good story. You know, I don't get to do many of those often. But when I do get them, I do want to acknowledge the people involved in the story and also share their story as well. This guy's name is Silas Atacuno. I hope I'm pronouncing his last name correctly. Forgive me if I'm not. He is a 26-year-old Nigerian, and he is now the highest paid robotics engineer in the world. Not just in Nigeria, not just on the continent of Africa, but the globe. And he's only 26. Before I go any further, he needs to protect all of his inventions, all of his content, you know, before you know who tries to get a hand gets their hand on his uh creations and whatever it whatever else it is that he has in the works because they will try and they will try and they will try to dig away at whatever it is that he has come up with the, the they're treacherous remember last year it was a guy in africa i forgot what country who came up with a water system and all of a sudden he mysteriously ends up dead and then all of a sudden a month later a white person from um, over there comes up with a, a water system that pretty much mimicked the same exact thing as his but they just changed the name of it and they quickly gave him the patent so he you know it seems like he has everything in order though i mean because it sounds like he's been around for a long for a while now it's like like he is the highest paid um, robotics engineer, so he has to have been around for a while now. But let me go ahead and read this article that's coming from, coming from FaceToFaceAfrica.com. The 26, a 26-year-old Nigerian credited for building the world's first gaming robot has just become the highest paid in the field of robotic engineering. Silas Etakuno achieved this feat after signing a new deal with the world's reputable software manufacturers Apple Inc. The robotics engineer was also named as someone to watch in 2018 by the Black Hedge Fund Group, according to reports by the BossNewspapers.com. Atacuno is currently the founder and CEO of Reach Robotics, a company developing the world's first gaming robots. He also recently graduated with a first class degree and has four years background in robotics. Born in Lagos, Nigeria, Silas studied in Nigeria before relocating to the UK as a teenager. After completing his secondary school education, he proceeded to the University of West of England, where he graduated with a first class graduate in robotics. In 2013, he founded Reach Robotics and developed a lot of experience on robotics within a space of four years. Atacuno was also a team leader of robotics in school program, a program in which encourages and pays attention to students in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, also known as STEM. Now, if y'all have seen me do videos before, I've talked about the STEM department before. The STEM department at pretty much any school you go to, including the one I graduated from, is the highest funded school on any campus. They know that's where the money goes. That's where a lot of people who go into careers make the most money, especially in that engineering department portion of STEM. In 2009, I'm sorry, 2017, Mecca. Mechamon, he released the world's first gaming robot with the special ability to customize the gaming bot to perform personalized functions. The initial launch of Mechamon sold 500 bots, generating $7.5 million, according to the, Guard the Guardian. Following this feat, Silas received support from various organizations, including London Venture Partners, $10 million. And in the same year, his company Reach Robotics signed a deal with Apple, securing exclusive sales in Apple stores. Impressed by the quality of his robots and their ability to show emotions with subtlety, calibrated movements, Apple priced his four legged battle bot at $300 and has put them in nearly all of his stores in the United States and Britain. As a matter of fact, the invention they're talking about is the one that he's holding in this picture. Early customers skew toward male techies, but a growing number of parents are buying the robots for their children to get them interested in STEM.
The young entrepreneur who once indicated that the secrets to his success are balance, shared ideas, time management, and being oneself was recently listed at, in the 2018 Forbes 30 Under 30 Europe Technology. Silas, who has taken over the world with his inventiveness, is currently located in the, at the Bristol Robotics Lab, which is said to be the best robotics research center in the UK. I am very, very, and thoroughly impressed by this individual and you know his future his future is only going to get brighter from here but like i said he needs to protect all of his assets and everything and make sure all of that is in order because they would try to take whatever it you know and everything that he has created and everything he has planned for in the future see these are the type of stories i like to do i mean it's good that i do the ones that y'all are known that i'm known for doing but i like doing these unsung type stories the ones that you know mainstream media is not going to touch not that i would say mainstream media would touch this but you would think that they would because if he is doing this on a global scale if he's the highest paid engineering robotics robotics engineer in the world then he should get some kind of highlight but we all know how that goes that's why we have a new black media and i'm glad to be a part of it because i can go back and forth i can do stories like the ones i do i can do uh somewhere something in entertainment and then i can do feel good stories such as these it's always good to have a balance instead of having it be completely one-sided because that after a while becomes repetitive and boring and then you can't really stretch yourself out you know so you can have a you know a different audience of certain things some in my case i think the audience i have on one type of video most likely will be the same one i have on another type but congratulations and shout out to this individual. I like, like I said, I love hearing stories such as these. Young entrepreneurs, I like that they're young. These are young individuals. He's only 26. He's a millennial. So congratulations and shout out to him. And, you know, these are the stories that need to have more light shined onto them. Because I'm willing to bet if this was a white individual a white male who did this we wouldn't hear the end of it especially since he's he has his item sold in apple oh he's most likely going to be good for the rest of his life because i don't think apple's going anywhere i think apple this year crossed the tr crossed the trillion dollar mark he yeah he's going to be good but i'm glad he also has his own company he's not just relying on apple so that's also a very good thing as well but y'all let me know what you think about this story down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. The link to the article will be down in the description below. And the link to the shirts will be pinned down in the comments. I'll talk to you in the next one.